Hello everyone, it's I, Cooker99, and today is all about the Olive Python. I'll walk you back to our top planet. Alright, the Olive Python. This is a very well-known python species, basically inhabiting Australia, especially Northern Australia, Western Australia, as well as Queensland, basically inhabiting savannas, woodlands, and basically water sources. Now, Olive Pythons can get to around five to six and a half feet long, so they are a pretty lengthy python species. They get their name from that light, dark olive color, olive brown, or like a light reddish brown coloration, which gives them their name. Now, these pythons <laughs> are very wonderful to see, but for many people, like many individuals, some can be nice, some can be mean. Sometimes these guys can have a feisty attitude when they <laughs> So yeah, so basically like any, like any snake species, when they feel threatened, they'll try to run away. But if they feel cornered, they will rear up in an S-like position and basically strike out at the potential predators or to defend themselves. So all the pythons can be really snappy when basically either in a food response or in a defensive response. Now all the pythons are active both day and night, so they are both nocturnal and diurnal. They'll basically feed on wallabies, they'll feed on birds, reptiles, as well as amphibians and frogs. Now, yeah. <laughs> so basically, the breeding will take place around between May to mid July. So, right now it is March, so another two months will basically be around their breeding time. Once that, once after um, basically mating takes place afterwards, females will live to around about 12 to around 40 eggs. Like many python species, they basically have to incubate their eggs that they will coil around their eggs. Like many pythons do to help protect protect their own eggs, but like many pythons, they will basically incubate their eggs using their coils as a basically like incubator to basically monitor the temperature of their, of their eggs. So basic pythons will basically twitch. That's how they basically keep the temperature stable. That way um, they'll be able to hatch a combination of both male and females. And when the temperature is a little higher, they hatch as males. When it's a little lower, they hatch as females. So yeah, temperature determination does Require, that's basically tell the gender of the snakes that will hatch. Alright, so all the pythons can be very, um, very beautiful, but like any snake, if you do see one in the wild, it's good to make from safe distance. Even though they are non venomous, having basically four rows of very sort of sharp, sharp teeth in your skin if you want to bite you is not a good thing because all, all the pythons, when they latch on, they will let you let go, give me a warning, but if you decide to coil around, it's going to be really hard to get, <laughs> it's going to be kind of hard to get them off. So yeah, all pythons, like for many people who have experience with these pythons, do tend to know they can be a little bit snappy. <laughs> so yeah, these guys are not for everyone, basically not for everyone, especially when you're trying to keep a python. If you're looking at all that python, I probably would do a little more research or try to go with something a little, you know, easier. <laughs> Alright, so that is the Owl of Python. If you enjoyed the video, please the like button. If you have any questions, put it in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. And now we'll see you guys next time. See ya. Hey, don't forget to subscribe for more content. Follow me on social media. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.